I did a surgery training at the University of Minnesota and my mentor at the time was John Nigerian. And I was looking for a research project and I asked Dr. Nigerian, what should I do? And he said, well, you're with your engineering background. Why don't you make an artificial liver device? He said, so how should I do that? And his response was, you're the engineer, you figure it out. And that was in 1989. So for the past 25 years, I've been working to develop an artificial liver device. As a liver transplant surgeon, I see how serious of a problem liver failure can be, how young people, older people can die from liver failure. The success of liver transplantation and transplant in general has led to our biggest problem. That's the shortage of organs. So if we can come up with new technologies to avoid a liver transplant, we've made a major accomplishment. I can see a, a day where we use these devices to avoid transplants, to support people chronically. Our bioartificial liver technology could impact Minnesota in several ways. We're leading the, the way nationally and internationally with a liver support device. Liver disease is a world problem. We have recently spun out our technology as a company called Liver Cell Technologies, which will be a Minnesota-based company. So there should be an economic impact, not just a medical impact to the technology. So it's a, quite an exciting time.